Good morning and welcome back. So for today, we're expecting more quiet conditions. Tonight, there is a front that brings a little bit of some light snow and we'll see a little lingering lake effect snow tomorrow morning for mainly our northern areas. Then for the middle portion of the week, extending through Friday, we do have a pattern shift in the jet stream that brings in some warmer air for us. So here's the jet stream pattern. Right now we do have a trough, an upper level trough that's kind of digging through the Great Lakes. We have a secondary one that kind of moves on in tomorrow. That's going to be accompanied with the cold front that comes tonight. It's short lived. It's quickly out of the region by Wednesday. Ridge moves in out of the west coast that brings in unseasonably warm air to our region for Wednesday extending through this upcoming weekend. So this is Friday morning. We kind of have that westerly zonal wind flow in place with that mild air coming in out of the west coast. Uh, at the surface right now we do have a warm front over into the Dakotas. There is a cold front over up into Canada. That's our next frontal boundary that moves in later on tonight extending into tomorrow bringing in some very light snow. As far as this morning we're starting off with some cloudy skies. Just a few uh, lingering uh, snow showers towards the far northeastern areas of the UP that will continue to taper off as winds shift throughout the morning becoming southwesterly. So this is midday today. By that point in time, wind flow will be out of the southwest. Then later on tonight, that frontal boundary starts to approach us. Some light snow over towards the Keweenaw. This is 930 tonight. And we're expecting that front to have some scattered snow showers along the frontal boundary during the overnight hours. Following that, some cooler air moves through and that'll help with some lingering lake effect snow into the Keweenaw. But it looks like the area that could have a more prominent band of lake effect snow developing will be in the northeastern areas of the UP. So for reference, it's a 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then as we continue throughout the day, it tapers off on the west end, but it still keeps going towards the eastern areas of the UP, eastern Alger County, northern Luce County. It looks like we have a prominent band of more moderate snow that sets up right over there for the majority of the daytime hours tomorrow and then tapers off tomorrow night. Elsewhere, it's going to be just a bit of a windy day with some cloud cover. As we head towards Wednesday, we start to see some sunshine develop and it looks like Thursday is going to be a warmer day with some sunny skies. As far as snowfall for tonight extending into tomorrow, this is uh, not too impressive. A couple of inches of snow over towards the northwest and western areas of the UP. But that band of lake effect that keeps going towards the northeastern areas, our models are showing it could exceed three inches of snow out there, potentially near five inches. Again, it's if that band decides to set up right over those areas and continues throughout the bulk of the daytime hours tomorrow. In the meantime, today, upper 20s to lower 30s, still kind of a little bit above normal, but still within a seasonal range. Lows tonight into the 20s, so still kind of above normal for our overnight low temperatures. Tomorrow, similar temperature ranges with upper 20s in the west end and low 30s east. It is also going to be a windy one tomorrow, especially if you're in the Keweenaw. Wind flow will be out of the northwest behind that frontal boundary with some lake effect, and winds will gust around 30 to 35 miles per hour, briefly even pushing around 40 miles per hour there. But most of us will have ranges of around 30 miles per hour for wind gusts tomorrow throughout the daytime hours. Here's a look at your extended forecast. You can see that Thursday is going to be a nice day. Some sunny skies, warmer as well as breezy. And then another disturbance comes in on Friday with a warmer air. It's mainly going to be rain mixed in with